Welcome to Salcedo Paranormal. It is Saturday, September 17th, 2022, and this is a bonus stream. As always, you can find all the episodes of the podcast, along with links to social media, ways to donate, ways to contact me at the podcast page, which is Salcedo Paranormal dot podbean dot com that's s a l s i d o paranormal dot podbean dot com always happy to hear from you all whether you have comments or questions or topic suggestions or stories of paranormal experiences whether they're your own or from others that you trust happy to either read those or have you join me on the show to talk about them and um tonight i just thought i would um sort of talk about the evolving patterns I've seen in <clears throat> in various stories of um, paranormal experiences in terms of um, what I've found online and everything and just uh, talk about what's interesting to me and, and go from there. And then also, this is a call-in stream, as in, if you are listening now, if you want to talk with me, um, then all you have to do is type it out in the chat in all capitals letters. Let me know that you want to uh, talk, and then I will let you know when it is okay to unmute. <clears throat> Excuse me, and um, we will go from there. Um, and if no one wants to or is able to talk tonight, that's okay. I will just uh, go on for a little while and cover the basic things I was thinking of, and then we'll um, we'll go from there and do one of these another time. So thank you all for listening, whether you're here for the live stream, I see you all there. Um, and, or whether you listen to the podcast or YouTube feeds. Um, I appreciate all of the views and downloads and, um, getting close to 6,000 views on YouTube. I just checked earlier today, um, over 5,800. So. And it was just at 5,000 recently. I really have no idea what's happening. But, um, so I'm really grateful for that. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I was just thinking about that I wanted to do a show today, but I didn't really feel like up to, feel up to doing a lot of research for it. So, um, this is what's happening. And, uh, so let's see here. The things that really, um, I've noticed with, with stories I found online, there are still a lot of your almost stereotypical hauntings <clears throat> or ghost stories. Um, there's plenty of those online, but there's also, it seems like there's more now than there used to be of the sort of glitches in reality, the, um, and, or the, uh, people that somehow find themselves in places that don't look right. Um, so really more stories about odd, uh, time and even location or space anomalies, not like space, outer space, but just location, maybe even different, um, portal kind of events somehow that are happening. Excuse me. Um, especially where people are driving or even walking where they are passing through an area and either they know it well or they have it on a map and they um but then everything nothing looks right when they get to this area that they they know in general what it's supposed to look like look like and everything looks seems strange and there's no one around in a lot of those cases um it's almost like they're the only person around or the the people that are experiencing it together are the only people around um and I think those are really amazing stories. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, um, I've been noticing those kinds of stories lately of experiences, um, just when I look for stories to share on the show. And, uh, so yeah, it's been, it's really been fun finding all those and looking forward to, um, tomorrow night, um, finding more of those for tomorrow night and sharing those on the usual, uh, night shows. And, uh, so, but the, um, the whole, um, kind of story where someone is traveling and they, they, um, 
either get lost or they have a general idea of where they're going, but their surroundings don't look right or it doesn't look like what they remember from before. That has really been um, odd to me to read about in recent stories I've found and shared on the show here and there. And, uh, and of course, I love the, uh, I do still love the, the almost like I said, stereotypical or traditional ghost stories as well. And I still think those can be, <clears throat> can have many explanations, um, whether it is, whether it is a spirit, I don't ever totally discount that. I, I really don't, especially with the experiences I've had in terms of visitations from loved ones and even um, the one time where I heard an older couple just talking as they were passing through my apartment. Um, I don't know if those were spirits or if those were just people in some other other level of reality. Um, but uh, but yeah, I don't know. It's It's really... <clears throat> Really odd. So, um, looks like we have someone that wants to come on. So, um, real quick. So, APOC, if you do want to join me, you're welcome to. And we can go from there. Hi. Hello. Um, since you brought up that um, type of story, I thought it was uh, interesting. It might be interesting to tell you about this weird thing that happened to me. And uh, it was, uh, I was driving on the highway. And... I um it's kind of difficult to explain. So I was going around a curve and I looked down and my hands were not turning the steering wheel even though I felt like they were and it might have just been like how I was looking at it and kind of how I felt but um it was just very odd. Uh so my car should have gone straight into the wall. And here's here's what it sort of spawned, that sort of questioning <laughs> of that experience is, you know, what if we, when we die, we just continue on as if we're alive and we don't know that things have changed, maybe. And yeah, I thought you were kind of the right person to tell about that story. <laughs> Yeah, that is really odd, and um, I've heard that kind of idea before, so it could be. Um, I, and I've heard of the idea that you you do just sort of transition from, again, the, all these different terms. One, let's just say one level or one version of of your reality that you knew of to another, and you don't even know. Mm -hmm. um, so it seems possible. Yeah, it's an inter interesting thought. Um, there is a lady who uh, wrote a book, and in one of her stories, um, they were supposed to be like true uh, past life experiences. And in one of them, that happened to her. She lived in Athens, I think, and she traveled somewhere. And, <clears throat> and uh, when she just kind of felt compelled to go back, uh, she met with all her friends, and they apparently weren't supposed to tell her for some reason she had to figure it out on her own and so when she finally figured it out they said yes you got it you know finally and so um they were able to sort of reunite and then sort of transition together in that way interesting oh, wow. yeah yeah that is neat um it's frightening in a way but also amazing yeah. too <laughs> right yeah, I, I don't think that I'm, you know, dead, but it, it, it you never know. And I, and I spawned, it, it spawned a very interesting sort of trail of, of, uh, of thought there. So whatever it was, it was, it was an odd thing. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like it. Well, thank you for sharing. Sure thing. I'm going to jump out and let, give somebody else a turn. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. And uh, yeah, it seems like a lot of people have these experiences, whether... Uh, thank you, APAC, for joining. Mm -hmm. and, thank uh, you. Yeah. But um, whether they're they're like that or... And there's there seems to be so many stories that have major similarities, but then they're still different. They have differences as well. Um, and uh, yeah, I don't know. Like Elevated, Lily says, hello, Lily. Thank you for listening and being in the chat. Yeah, I don't know. Um, that is fascinating about the 
past life thing and um and then that happening so it's, there's so much material out there as well it's just impossible to get to it all but uh yeah so and i think um another thing i've been noticing with a lot of these stories is a lot of them take place in areas that are said to be the most paranormally active area in 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 a larger area and you hear about that so often and i just really wonder about that how that works if that's what all those kinds of claims are based on um because if you think of haunted cities even just in the u.s there seem to be so many that are said to be haunted like i hear i hear all the time about of course um savannah i think georgia of course new orleans um funny we were talking about that in the voice chat the other night um just i mean even hollywood or la um it seems like almost any city you can pick one and if you look hard enough you can find many stories of of weird things happening there <clears throat> and it can be it can be all uh, mostly ghost stories or it can be a mix of um ghost stories along with ufo stories so um that's really amazing as well but uh and the ufo thing it's it's really amazing it's been um it's been popping up lately a lot in discussion with friends and and um and then again again my own experiences that i had the this last two months or so the two that i had um with the blue orb um and that that whole thing. I'm actually going to uh tonight I'm gonna start um start just going out for a little bit every night and looking out, out and up into the sky and see um see if uh see if I see or feel anything. Really I'm more interested in how, how it feels, if I feel anything, because um trying to see things for me usually in the sky is not uh <clears throat> not gonna be it's not usually going to work very well. But, um, yeah, thank you for just being in the chat, Derek. Um, and we'll be talking on Wednesday. That's the plan anyway for now. Um, we'll be, that's going to be a fun show Wednesday. All about um, different ways that we might be contacted by aliens, whatever aliens may be. And again, there's that whole connection with people seeing... Um, seeing aliens, <coughs> excuse me, either in dreams... Or even in in um just in their homes in general, and then seeing loved ones with them, loved ones that had passed on with them, and I really just wonder what that is all about. If that's if that is the actual loved ones, or if that's some kind of a um this is of course this is a darker thought, but a, a, a trick of some kind. But then sometimes it doesn't seem like it is a trick. Um, so. There's just, that raises so many questions about that. Um, but uh, yeah, so Wednesday should be a, that'll be a fun show. Definitely recommend everyone um, listen to that either live or, of course, on the podcast or YouTube feeds. Yeah, counterfeit loved ones. Yeah, yep. Um, from, from Lily there in the chat. Yeah, so. It's hard to, hard to know. There's so many variables, but uh, variables. But it's, it's fun lo lo looking at all the stories and and um, and like I said, it seems like the the um, alien angle of everything and the UFO angle is getting more popular. And I think that's a double-edged sword. I think that's um, there are people that use that to try to make money off of it, um, and they're are others that don't you never know uh, unless you look into someone i think and even then it's hard but uh someone's history or whatever whoever's talking about it um but uh yeah it's it's been fun doing the show and i can't believe i already already coming up on two years of doing the show um in october on halloween so um but uh so yeah, the, the biggest things I've been looking into recently as far as I've been seeing patterns in this and stories as, as far as that goes is time. Um what appear to be time anomalies where people either have missing time or they see 
uh, things that seem to be examples of time being frozen, possibly, or things like that. Um, <clears throat> so, and then also just, um, of course, there's always orbs. Orbs are, are still seem to be everywhere. And or just apparitions that maybe don't look like people, but they look like um, just lights, energy. And that's another thing, too. Lech energy and electricity seem to be a big thing, too. Yeah, Derek says there's a ton of, of time-related pop culture out there, too, at the same time it's in the air. Huh, okay. There you go. Yeah, and that goes back to something else I've been kind of looking into. Sort of as a possible show, maybe, even though it's kind of already been touched on a lot in a lot of shows that I think I've done before and or I've been part of before. And that is the way that um, popular culture seems to be, um, it's, it's a question of, is it, is it influenced by the paranormal or is it, um, is it making the paranormal? Or both. Again, that whole idea of where do ideas come from? And I'm sorry if anyone is tired of hearing about this, but I'm not. So I'm going to talk about it again. Um, but people that have ideas, where do they get their ideas from? And I do think that obviously people do get their own ideas, make their own ideas. But I also feel like it's not impossible for other beings uh, to send ideas or send thoughts to people and, and have people not even really notice that it's from some other source and then just use it because it seems like it's their idea. Um, or even just people coming across ideas that seem to be, again, back to that phrase, it's in the air. Um, and we've seen this with throughout history with people that invent things and you hear about people that um, invent similar things around the same time that seem to have no contact with each other. And then you have stories of people who um, see their creations, their characters that they, they write about or draw in real life outside of their, their, um, their writing or their, their drawing. Um, I, I've been looking for, and I still can't find the details on this, but the the comic character the shadow the original author of that um there's a report i read somewhere and i've heard before a couple pla different places about this author the one that made this character seeing this character in their home and having it move and act independently of the author um let's see here yeah, so um, there, there's a good example uh, from Derek. It says, two different people created a cartoon character called Dennis the Menace on the same day or something crazy like that. Yeah. There's also, and Derek knows about this a little bit too as well, the whole, um, the whole thing with Co Constantine from the comics. I think we were talking about that in the voice chat the other night too. Um, if anyone here hasn't, or anyone listening to these shows doesn't, hasn't joined Discord yet, I would highly recommend it because um, this is where I am at most of the time. And either in here in my server, most of the time, actually, I'm, I'm in another server, um, the Troubled Minds Discord server for, for the show, that show. And, um, and we talk a lot in there. And uh, this has come up there before as well. Just the, the way that um, if you look into it, there have been people over uh, through time that have claimed to have seen these figures from the the things that they were working on, but in the real world. So, and then there's also, I found a lot of articles. I was kind of trying to look into this last night. Um, and I found so many that I didn't even bother trying to, to, to copy and paste all the links, but, um, and this is something I've, I've experienced. Uh, apparently, uh, when when people that write, when writers are um, working on their their stories and their and their characters, they will hear in their minds their characters talking to them, and 
explaining or saying I would do this or I wouldn't do that. And they use that. The the, the writers, the creators use that and use that uh, that input wherever it's coming from. Again, who knows for sure. Um, that leads to this idea that I've had that I always wonder about um, wherein somehow in some cases people that are creating stories they're not really creating them they're channeling them or they're they're seeing them or experiencing them from other other places other times other possibly i don't even know not everyone is into this idea but other universes other other uh realms where these things that we think of as fiction they're actually happening there and um I really wonder about that, especially with uh, famous authors such as uh, Lovecraft, who I talk about all the time. I'm still working through his book of uh, complete fiction. <clears throat> or even Stephen, um, Stephen King. A lot of his stuff, I feel like he must be, and he's even um, shown himself, a fictional version of himself, um, being influenced by outside an outside being um sort of a creator being that um is shares a story with him and is somehow using him to create the characters and this is all within the uh a fictional universe the uh Stephen King fictional universe so this is going into universes within universes sort of and um yeah L Lily says in the chat it's interesting how people have the imagination to write stories, even when they make it a movie. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, so it's, there's something to that. I don't know how it all works. Just like everything here, I don't really know how this works, but there seems to be too much for it all to just be coincidence or, um, or misidentification of these different things. So, um, the muses, like in Sandman. Yeah, <clears throat> the Sandman, um, that series. I want I want to do a show at some point soon, maybe soon, about the, <clears throat> the paranormal connections in that show to, to ghosts or spirits and, and an afterlife. Um, and that kind of thing, because... Uh, I won't. I won't do any spoiling here, but there are some things in that series that really um, that hint at, hint at that and talk about that in a way. So I may have to do that at some point too. Maybe that'll be the next. Um, whenever I do a bonus show again, that'll be the next bonus show. I could do that. Um, just to just to go over those things, and then um, and then you all can can uh, we can talk about it after or whatever, but. Um, so yeah, it really is amazing what, um, it just makes me wonder just how powerful the, the human, the human mind really is. So, um, yeah, so I'm trying to think of what else I've been looking into lately. Um, I'm still, so not Wednesday coming up here, but the, let's see here, I believe it's the 28th. Let me look. It's not let me look. Okay. I don't know why it's not let me look. But um the last Wednesday of this month I will be um going over the uh ancient beliefs of uh different ancient uh the beliefs of an ancient civilization. Last month we, we did Egypt. Uh Jen Jen H and I did Egypt. And um and so I'll be looking into a different civilization and their um ideas on spirits and ghosts in the afterlife um for that show the end of this month uh derek asks any p special plans for the halloween show anniversary show yet no um i don't know what i'm going to do because it's going to be a week night i think it's like either i think it's either monday or tuesday night um and so i don't I can't go super long, I don't think. Like, I can't make it a multiple-hour show. But 
we'll probably do something. Maybe we'll do another call in show that night. I don't know. Um, that way it gives more pe- people more time to uh, to uh, prepare for it and everything else. Because um, I know I didn't really I announced the show today, so <laughs> that's not much time to, for anyone to uh, think of anything to talk about right away. But uh, yeah, so I'll do a show definitely. It's on. It'll be on one of the usual days, and uh, we'll see. Maybe um, if you all have any ideas or suggestions for something to do for that day, um, any topics that you want me to look into. Um, I have a list of topics I haven't looked into yet, so maybe I'll look at that too. But um, we can definitely see what we can do with that. Um, it has to be something, something different. It won't just be the usual, um, the usual thing. So, okay. So Derek has an idea for something, and then we'll go over it. All right. Well, sounds like we have uh, something that even I'm not aware of yet. So we, we'll we'll. We'll go over that sometime and uh, see how it goes. So, yeah, that's the... Um, but, yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to that that two-year anniversary. Um, that's gonna going to be amazing just to reach that point. And um, I feel like <laughs> after a year and a half, I finally... Or almost two years, I finally found the schedule that works pretty well, I think, for me. Um, so I'm really glad that that's happened, and uh, it's been a lot of uh, changes to get to this point. But uh, I think we're this should be good for quite a while, hopefully. So, but um, yeah. So as far as plans for this coming week, tomorrow will be um, true paranormal stories from the web, and um, then Monday will be paranormal news. Tuesday will be more true paranormal stories from the web. Wednesday will be the Alien Contact show uh, with Derek. So looking, really looking forward to that. Um, and then Thursday will be more paranormal news. And then we'll see what happens. Um, if I do an extra show next weekend or not, I don't. I'm not going to make any promises. It all depends on schedule and if I have anything going on and <clears throat> if I um, have the energy or not for it. A lot of those things, so, and um, yeah, I, I was also um, as always. I'm looking looking for stories of uh, of true paranormal experiences. So, um, even if all of you that listen, let's say, you don't have any like that of your own that you haven't shared already, or that you don't uh, that you don't want to share, even if you don't have any, um, please share the show with everyone. So that maybe at some point we'll start getting some actual stories submitted to the show. Um, I don't mind finding stories online. I will probably continue to do that for quite a while. I I think um, at least as long as it is needed. But uh, always happy to share stories from people on here. And as I always say, I know that some of this is review for people, but... um, I don't have to share names of anyone or or any um, detailed locations or anything like that. That's not really the point of sharing these stories. So, um, trying to think of anything that's happened with me recently here in my apartment. I had a, a couple of bump, a random bumps and bangs in my apartment these last couple of days at night. Um, nothing major, nothing too um, surprising, except for one time when. Logan actually scared me, my cat, but um, other than that, nothing major. Um, nothing other than just the uh, the UFO sightings. And um, I know I've talked about those already, and, um, but, and I could talk about them again, but I think I will just save that for Wednesday as a uh, maybe a good way to start the show off that night and uh, go from there. So, um, and unless anyone really wants to talk, I think that'll do it for tonight. Um, so, all right. Yeah, I think that'll do it for tonight. Thank you all for listening. And uh, we will definitely do another call-in show and give everyone more time to uh, prepare for it. And um, and go from there as well. 
let me let me look and see what's going on here in the chat uh yeah no worries no worries about that um derek not being able to call in but uh but yeah um thank you all for listening and i will talk to you all tomorrow night on the next episode of salcedo paranormal take care everyone thank you for listening